Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, I have introduced you the 1 gigabit internet fiber connection that I just set up with the TP-Link ONTs and the NanoPi R6 sets. So this network port is limited to gigabit, therefore I won't be able to reach the speed over gigabit internet. However, I want to give a try with 2.5 gigabit internet and let's see if my ISP support 2.5G G point or not. Therefore, I have right here the Nokia G point ONT. This is the C010SA XFP module and it supports 1 and 2.5G. And then I also have the 2.5 gigabit meta converter. I already have a video introducing how to use this one and how to clone the information of this XRP module with your ONT. So if you have yet to watch that, feel free to click on the notifications on the top right corner. So right now, we're going to replace this one with this meta converters and the XRP module. So it's very simple. I just need to remove the fiber cable from this ONT and plug it to the g XRP module. After that, connect it to the meta converters and connect all the cable. So let's do that together. Before getting started, let's make sure that the ONT is turned off. And now we can remove the fiber cable. All right. So we can see that this is the TP-Link 1 port gigabit g point terminal. The model is XZ000G3. All right. I will also remove the Ethernet cable. Let's put it aside. So this is the Nokia g point XRP module that we have been talking about. And then let's make sure the cable orientation is correct and connect it in just like that. And next we will connect it to the XRP module. Very good. This is the cable to the one port and it will be connected to this one. So you can see that this is a 2.5G port. All right, very good. So right now we just need to connect the power cable to this one. All right, so we can see that the link is up but the optic link is not yet activated. So perhaps we will need to configure something on the XRP module and maybe we will need to clone the MAC address and the serial number of this ONT into the XRP module. All right, so we're back into the NanoPi R6S and right now the network connection should be down because we just changed the ONT. So I will try to log into the ONTs at 192.168.1.10 and let's see if the XRP module is up and running. All right, they no respond at all. And very good, we can see that the XRP module is now up and running. So let me show you how it looks like. All right, so here is the g point G010SA from Nokia. And actually, before this video, I have tried to clone some of the information of the ONT from the TP-Link XZ000G3 to this module. And right now on the g point configuration, the first line, you can see that I have copied the MAC address of my g point ONT module and paste it here. So this is from the TP-Link g ONT and then for all the types of information I just remove it because I believe that my ISP doesn't use this information to authenticate the section. So right here I select this option and make all the information blank. All right. So this is this and on the g status let's see what is the message. All right, so sorry, I go to the temperature. So let's go to G point and then message from the module. And we can see that the authenticate status is 05, which is good, but the module cannot detect the OLT, uh, which is also fine because I don't need that. And 
you can see that the BLOAM passwords or the SLID actually the configuration that were keep from the previous setting but I see that it doesn't cause any conflict at all so it doesn't matter in this case so let's go back to the status overview and we can see that the connection of the G.E 2.5 G or 2500 MPPS phone duplex all right which is everything up and running so on the NanoPi R6 set I can see that the PPE connection is also up and running there is no problem at all so before we proceed with the test let me go back to the Gbon XRP module and the meta converter and let's check it out so now on the operational stage we can see that the optic links is up you can see that it had the green color and we have the LED indicator at 2000 virus and PPS right here okay so I will need to put a small heat sink on top of the XRP module because it's going to be very hot alright so now let's have some quick throughput test and let's see let's go all right so you can see that just now it's reaching 1200 mpps and after that it dropped to 1069 mpps and we can see that the throughput is above gigabit ethernet so it means the 2.5 g g point is working on the nokia G010SA all right so let me try with another providers and let's check it out all right so we are also reaching 1040 mpps download with the CPU at 70% idle and right here we can see the real throughput okay and for upload we can see that the speed is not really fast because this plan is not committed and right now it is at around 10 35 on saturday so it's weekend and for sure the traffic should be saturated that's why we don't have a high throughput and now i will run the speed test again but i will show you the cpu utilization of this nokia g.0 ont as well as the nanopi r6s All right, so 1,079 MPPS and the CPU at 46% idle. So as I said before, the CPU utilization is not really important on the Nokia g because it has nothing to do with the fiber throughput, okay? Let's run the test again. All right, so that will be a short update for the gigabit fiber throughput with the NanoPi R6s and the Nokia G.0 G010SA. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next update.